crazy ass graphic. I gotta be quick, there's some music playing in the background. Are you good? Joker. Do you know what kind of shirt this is or just a random graphic? Oh. It's like a Chicano random graphic. Yeah. This thing, sure. single stitch too. Some car hearts. What year are these? Nah, these, which one, the car hearts? Or the no, the, the AF ones. Nah, these are the custom ones. I got them Nike IDs, so they have like a cream swoosh and a cream sole. Yeah, I see that, that's crazy. And it's like the rip in the back. Those hard. I was like, those look different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> CDC does not let you uh, smoke a vape. And uh, what are we wearing today? A74 Dickies with some uh, loafers from like Urban Outfitters. I got these on Grailed for like 30 bucks. And I just caught this piece right now for 30. A little turn turtleneck action, and then of course we got the Cathedral High School vintage tee with the back hit on my brother's face. Let me take this off real quick. Right, back hit. Yeah. Wait, this is insane. This so this guys, this is a. Uh, High school, private high school in Los Angeles, and yeah, their merch goes hard, obviously. So you can see, look at the shows, the side hit, and this little, uh, well, what's it? What, what? It's a Cathedral Phantom. Yeah, yeah, in Chinatown. So that's their uh, logo. I mean, that's their mascot. And then look at the side hit, bro. This is like some of the hardest merch I've seen for a school. That's crazy. Okay, we just uh -huh. got this. Uh, I don't know what. The Lincoln University is, but it's a golf tourney hat, chucker. 1980? Yeah. What's up? 1980? Yeah. Yeah, old. I want to see the tag on the inside. Profit. Fire. Yeah, and then last but not least, I have my, my North Face Nupsy. Because it was a little, it was 70 today, yeah, so he brought out the Nupsy. It was my little brick outside, so. But ain't nothing wrong. And that's my fit rundown. Yo, it's Matt, 626 Matt, Mateo. We're looking at my outfit today. Let's start at the bottom. 90s PF Flyers. And I go with the gray socks because I'm not basic. These are 80s pants, Levi's 511. I just like them a lot. And then with the shirt, this is like a linen shirt I got from my boy Nico. He gave me a bunch of these. They're also from the 80s. This jacket that I'm wearing today is from the 70s. And I got it from a vintage punk shop in LA. There's paint all over it, so you know it's been worn a lot of times. I like to wear it too. I like to wear it to the shows when I go crazy. It's kind of hard to put on, but... <laughs> These frames are from the 60s. And they were dead stock when I got them. You want to get a little close-up of that, that writing right there? Gotcha. Right here, right here. Gotcha. And the beanie... Well, I'm just wearing a beanie, you know, <laughs> it's just a beanie. Awesome, bro, thank you. Yeah. This is honorable mention, another edition of the fit. Uh, it's like a 90s, what, Harley Davidson? This is like the chain, right? Is it a bracelet? It's an heirloom, I got it from my father. So no, you can't have it. For sure, we got this Rodman tee, just for Rodman. It's by uh, Nafa Clothing. It's 2020, but they have a single stitch. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, it's crazy. Good. Look at the colors on the back, too. The fading on it is really good, too. Yeah, bro. Where are these yeah. pants, bro? I, see oh, I got these at the bins, bro. Oh, San really? Fernando, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, bro. Sure. So, it's just a regular vintage shirt probably 90s and then some helmet leg pants off of essence and then just the regular Reese's SB dunks traded it from a friend the pants were 380 I think but off the sale I got it for like 140 the shoes I traded valued it at like 160 and then the shirt I got for like 15 nice and easy yo 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 it's Brian Roberts BRB you know what I mean? I'm out here today. Got my needle jacket. Got the matching needle pants. Got some old school vans, you know what I mean? Can't leave the house without that. Fresh. Got a little capital, uh, capital bandana. You know, face cover. Gotta stay fly with that. A little vintage $10 leather hat, you know what I mean? Keep it simple. 
The shades? Got some Saint Laurent shades, you know what I mean? Okay. What the shoelaces? Do you swap those out? Oh yeah, to swap the shoelaces out. The black shoelaces, you know what I mean? Some, some real. It's light. Day. Real light, <laughs> you know what I mean? Something keep it cool. We got this uh, good humor popsicle tea. We got Dora. I think this is Sour Patch. Not sure. <laughs> SpongeBob and then Spider Man. Here's a good humor. Back. And is that? Is a tag? Tag is the important company. XL. Awesome. Perfect mm. measurements. These pants are sick. Thank you. Got them for a steal. I think 40 bucks for the double knees. It's not bad, right? We're Converse every day. Yeah, my every day. Give me a scoop, Matt. I think so. I need some. Which one? Is that your repair? No. Oh. This one's got nice reinforcement, though. The beak is different on each side. Yeah, so somebody, like drew, somebody drew them. Big old bag. <laughs> it's almost as tall as me. I could go like that, yeah. It's like a laundry bag. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing? Good, how are you? I kind of want like in between the, the huge and the regular size. Alright, man, try the bag on. Show us your bag. Homie hooked it up, 30 bucks. The homie did hook it up. Alright, so if you throw yours, your thing right here, you can hold it like this. Matt got the mid-size. I got the long jump. It's crazy. Like replicas of some older style of pants. Show the show the jacket you're scooping for ten. Oh, the jacket. It's like a seventies Vietnam era jacket. Um, with the paint, so beautiful. Bro, Matt came up ten bucks. Ten bucks for this guy. Sheesh. And this is what I'm thinking about scooping for ten. This is a single stitch Billabong shirt. Pretty crazy. I love the sleeve hit. I just scooped this. Can you hold this up for me? From the booth, 10 bucks. Same rack mat. Same rack mat came up on. It's like a tie-dye 80s tag. Mickey front and back print. Super sick. 10 bucks. Crazy. Matt, nothing in this uh, free pile? Um, there's some stuff. This is a vintage shirt, single dingle, and it's free. <laughs> But I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it for the next Yeah, time. yeah. Peep this bag, it's insane. What? I got one too. It's not Matt's, it's not mine. But yeah, this bag is crazy. Wait, so what are these? The, here, let's see. French tour pants, 145, 40 inch waist. They're probably from like the 40s or 50s. I don't know if you guys have ever been in the double red tent. This Iconic. Pickpocket vintage. Pick vintage, as you know. Insane stuff all the time. Cinderella shakes the USA. Wow. But anyways, they're they're leaving. So I love coming in here. It's like a museum in here. But sadly, they're leaving. You can see them in Florida, though. They'll be in Florida. Uh, their last event here. Man, I love this booth. 165. 165? Let's get, there's probably in some The gang. The gang, 60s. motorcycle club. The back, the kid, and a puff print, huh? Oh, for sure puff print. This is like, let's see how it's 60s, motorcycle gang. Russell, look at that Russell tag. Crazy Russell tag. Oh, that's like a sample like tag? That's yeah. sick. How much are you asking for this? That one, I'll do 30. All right. All right, we scooped the new era snapback. Apparently, this is a sample that has a sample tag. I don't know. If, oh, 2015. So I don't know when's the last time they released these. Um, yeah, I think 
Well, you know I had to cop. Good tag. Oh yeah, bandito. Bandito Supreme. This one's hard. Never seen that tag. 19... This is a steal. What is this? 50 bucks. Crazy. This Lincoln Park goes crazy. It used to be double stitch because you could check here. Oh, a little squirt stain. Crazy, crazy. This is sick. Wait, let me show us the tag. Oh, the tag. Looney Tunes tag. 1997. <laughs> Crazy fade, bro. This is insane. What? Put a patch over this. I forget what these are called when they're lined like this. You still have a patch here. This is what I picked up today. First piece is a 2000s reprint of a very legendary 90s Wu Tang graphic. Picked it up for 10 bucks. This one's for uh, you philosophers out there. You guys should know who that is. 80s. Karl Marx. It's a super, super rare shirt. One of the best pictures of them too. Crazy screen stars tag. I really, really like this tea. Get the tag. Yep. It's an awesome back print. I love the way it's cracking. I love how the skull looks with the cracks. These are just the t-shirts. Moving past that, we have a 90s Marlboro with an insane bleach fade. I love the, uh, the different color on the bottom here. This one's crazy. This one was also $10. No yeah, all came from the same person. It's a gorgeous piece. You said this is Marlboro? Mm hmm Oh, okay. That is awesome. This is some uh, 70s French workwear. I think this is a beautiful piece. It's very light and soft. You can wear it pretty much any time of the year. Just tag if this No tag, but for the true vintage heads, you guys should definitely recognize those buttons. Can you see the button? Show us the button. Hi. Yeah, Copyright music. <laughs> Here's another good pickup from today. Classic, timeless piece there. It's a late 80s, early 90s Carhartt jacket. Awesome fade. Yeah, that's crazy. You gonna try it on? Next one was another one that I picked up for $10. This one might have belonged to like a 70s, somebody who painted for the military, I'm assuming. Beautiful. Love that, yeah. 
for ten dollars. Everything? One more piece. This has probably got to be the rarest thing I've found. 70s Vivian Westwood. True vintage Vivian Westwood. Look at the uh, the buttons. Let's see the buttons. Wow. Yep, made in Italy. That's the haul today. Not until tomorrow. Oh, last thing. The bag, of course. The bag it came in. Shout out to Throwback Presents. Not as right. Got me one too. Here's the on body of the Marlboro. So bright. This one's awesome, dude. Crazy fade. You don't find these fades anywhere. And for ten dollars, impossible. I love how the drawstrings match the. Does anybody remember when I pulled this out at ThriftCon? Still haven't bought it. Single stitch? Yeah.